programs on it and attach different things depending on what you want it to do. You know, if we wanted to, to control motors on it, there's little things that you just plug in the pins right there and it would control the motor depending on the program that you wrote. We put a couple different things on it. We put on this top board right here is called the weather shield. It takes temperature, pressure, um, light sensors, like how much light it's, it's coming in, and then humidity. It takes all that information. So what the kids did was they wrote a program to tell the Arduino to take this information and then create a data log of it. Um, well, when it popped, the washer would slide down, and the parachute would then inflate. Mm. So then it will come down. Um, <clears throat> we weren't quite sure. I was skeptical if it would work or not. Um, so one day we we hooked up the parachute with the washer to a five gallon bucket, and they went outside, and I went on the roof and I threw it off the roof, um, and, and it worked. We threw it like five times and it worked. So I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, we're not sure how it kicked off, how it kicked open though. When we were um, when we were tracking it, it showed that you know it was at like 88,000 feet. And we're like driving through the middle of nowhere in New Hampshire. And within like minutes, it was at like 60,000 feet. We're like, that thing just dropped 20,000 feet yeah. in like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a little nervous as to whether or not the parachute actually deployed. But once it was at about, I think, 10 or 6,000, 10,000 or 6,000, we noticed that the speed when slowed down drastically. Down. Way down. And so we knew that the parachute had kicked in. Like my phone had this up on it while we were driving, and, and her phone had Google Maps open. And we were tracking it and trying to find the best path to get where to, to, to the, the balloon where it was going to land. Um, the cool thing is, we, at all these red dots, you can click on a red dot and you can find out at what time how fast it was going with and the. Yeah, it went up at a nice rate. It was just coming down. Yeah, so, it, it, it coming was down made us a little. <laughs> coming down, you said about this landing ninety three. This thing, Manchester. yeah. yeah. Um, we have there are predicting predictors that you can plug in online that you can plug in your information and it'll give you an idea of the flight path and where it'll land. Mm. And when we had done the prediction there, um, you know, a kid hot spotted his phone and we, uh, we plugged the computer into it. Um, it showed every path, no matter what height we did, it the path shape may have been different, but the landing spot was always in New Boston. Negative? Negative 57, yep. Yeah, about 90,000 feet, it's negative 57, which is like some weird Russian place. It's like OYM. I looked it up once. Um, one of the middle school principals wanted to know. Um, I forget the name of it, but it was, it was some place where it's, it's negative 57 degrees in this place in Russia. And they're like, oh, it's just like it'd be 90,000 feet. <laughs> um, yeah, we had talked about, I mean, the kids when they were, we had this one group that was working on like what type of data that we wanted to gather and they were talking about trying to figure out how they could get the actual airflow like the sensors um, the airflow to hit the sensors but it just it started to get a little complicated we're like you know what for our first time let's just keep things simple let's see where it goes but I think I think next year we'll step it up yeah and is that we've already now that we know how it goes yeah it's the, you know, the first time you run through it you don't really know exactly what to expect yeah, and, and we've already ta started to talk with Wyndham High School about doing like a joint venture. Oh, yeah. Which, which would be kind of cool because uh, they launched one in uh, end of March with the goal to send it over to France and so like that. And it made it to the very tip of Newfoundland and then it, it went down for whatever reason. They actually just got it back. It, it rode the um, currents for a while in the ocean. Really? And then um, someone found it and mailed it back to them. So it was pretty cool. Uh, 